The sponsor of today's video is PCBWay. If you have any projects that you want to get done and or assembled, then PCBWay is going to be a great choice. I've been using them for the past couple years and by far one of the best services I've used, whether you're a hobbyist and or professional alike. So definitely check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're taking a look at an all new radio from Eoshin and it's called the TX16S. Now, at first when I received it, I was just like, mm, let's see how that's going to go and how it is. And honestly, it has become my favorite radio, which is pretty insane. So this is not a Eosh it's Eoshin branded, but it's made by Radio King. So the support would be from Radio King as far as I believe. The amount of features you have in here and the overall build quality and everything you it's crazy it's a premium premium remote here and even the packaging or the carrying case they provide is actually really nice though it's kind of huge but it will definitely protect your radio now let's take a look at this first of all you get a huge fat screen here that could give you just about everything you ever want and what's really crazy with this is the only other radio I think I have of this nature currently is the FR Sky X10 Horus which is the $500 FR Sky radio which has the same screen but it is unbelievably sluggish. This one is so responsive, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful, the response. That one was, you could totally see the sluggishness, the frame drops in that one. This one is just a joy to use. And um, it's just, it's actually really nice. Like they hit this one out of the park completely. For one here, what we do get is, let's just say not the, the Hall Effect gimbals here. We do get a multi-protocol module built inside. And what that means is you could be able to fly to FR Sky, Fly Sky, the Chinese toy, Spectrum, it, just about everything if you could figure out the name code for it. Even the, you know, the, the, the cheap um, Chinese uh, drones, to, you know, the toy drones, you can do anything, even the cars and helicopters as well. So that is out of the box, absolutely gorgeous. And another thing what we get is we actually get a proper USB type C connector here. There you go, right there. So you could be able, I believe you could charge and also be able to play your simulators, which is really, really great. And the antenna here, I don't think is detachable currently. Um, it could be, but no, I don't think so, which is really nice. That's really good. So you don't burn the multi-protocol module that I like. And if we look at the back here, we have a module bay, which is really, really great. So you could put your crossfire in there. And if we open the battery part here, we can actually put up to a 2S. Now they do provide you with this uh, holder here if you wanted to use. And as you can tell, it is somewhat loose, but they have combat that issue with this little foam thing, which keeps it relatively stable and doesn't make any rattling, unlike FR Sky stuff, which also adds to that premium feel. Now on the sides here, we also do have rubber and right here we have these little rubber grips. So you can actually have really good solid grip on this thing, which again is really nice and it does feel very premium. And another thing, it might, might not be a big deal, but I really like to have the page up and page down to be in dedicated buttons. This is actually really nice, very useful, and it's much, much more efficient in my opinion. Now, in terms of switches, there's more than enough for any quadcopter. So yeah, that's something kind of nice. And it might be a bit overkill for a quadcopter, but some people might end up using some of these. So let's actually go through these. So all the topmost switches here are three position switches. And we have two more switches in the back. This one right here is a momentary switch. And this one right here is a double switch. So it's just two position switch here. We also do have two potentiometers here. Now they do have a little bit of jitter sometimes. And I think we could probably see that in the home screen here. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and check that out. There are going to be those ones down there as far as I remember. Not always you get jitter, but sometimes you get jitter on them just a little tiny bit here, especially these little side ones right here. We also do have two little potentiometers or sliders if you want to call them. They do have a dent in the middle so you can actually feel where the center is. And sometimes when you center it, it it's not the, really the best, but um, it'll get the job done. Uh, if you really need that. But if you need something super, super precise, these are not really made to be super pre precise because the, the throw is all actually very uh, short here. So if you're looking for something more precise, I, I probably want to look into something else. But if you're just looking for something with a slider, that's going to work just fine. It has enough resistance to somewhat be precise, but that middle dent kind of removes that precision out of the equation because as you're going up, it like locks into place and you don't know how much pressure you need to pop it out and just, yeah, do, yeah you get the idea there. Um, so that's something just to take a note of here. We also have these right here. So this is kind of like a six position switch basically. 
basically so you can set that up to whatever you want and uh, you can play around with this and do all kinds of crazy cool stuff with that you can actually see it change there every time i click one I think that's pretty awesome, actually. Um, I don't know if I'd ever use it, but it's really nice to know that I have it here. Now, in terms of the software, it's running OpenTX, which basically has everything you're ever used to and everything that is completely compatible with everything we're used to, which is really great. So if you want a GPS telemetry, you wanted all kinds of telemetry, you could easily access that. And it's a really nice screen. The screen is really used if you're probably doing some uh, airplane stuff or, you know, RC wings, because in our quadcopter, we usually have our goggles on, so we never really see the screen. But maybe for debugging purposes, it would be really nice or maybe just uh, when you do some beta flight configuration through here, I think it would be really great as well. It also does have haptic feedback here, and we also have something on the bottom here, which I forgot to mention. Uh, so if we look at the bottom here, sorry about that. I forgot to mention that the bottom is where you would actually charge from. It's a USB-C uh, charger here, and we also do have an SD card. It actually comes with an SD card, by the way, so I didn't have to do anything there, which is really nice. And we have two ports to actually flash receivers, which is really, really great. Uh, we have one 5X, TX, and RX, and we have another one which has, um, actually, I think this is an FTDI adapter. This is a 5-volt FTDI ad adapter with the CTR, which is the uh, reset switch. So that's actually really crazy. So this is a 4 and this is a 5. Wow, that's that's pretty awesome here. So, yeah, you, you, you can do quite a lot. This is a full-featured uh, receiver here, uh, transmitter, sorry about that. This is a full feature transmitter here. Now, I forgot to mention the gimbals here. So the gimbals are Hall Effect, at least the one that I have here. And it does have the ratcheting on the throttle, which is my favorite because I'm just, I could just be so precise and know how much I went up and went down. Uh, some people don't like that which you could completely disable, but I, I truly love that. that. That was like the signature thing of FR Sky that I truly loved. But now that I see it here, uh, it's just, uh, it's really nice. Yeah, I don't know if you, let's see if you could hear it. I, I really love that. It's just like on every click, you could kind of feel that. And you could perfectly center specific things. Uh, again, they are Hall Effect gimbals, which is really nice. And you can actually modify the tension and everything from, uh, from the outside, which is again, really, really great. And if we look at the top here, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, you also have some mounting points. I think these are probably three millimeter uh, screws you could put in here and mount some stuff, maybe a screen or I don't know what you'd want to mount. But this is really crazy and this is really awesome that they've done that. Um, something I really like. And if you wanted to remove this plastic thing to bring in your own thing, you could totally do that with a couple of screws. You could just completely remove that. And maybe if you wanted your own custom setup in the back that comes down and holds it up like that, you could also add that as well. Now the screen is not touched, so don't think the screen is touched. And actually, let me show you the carrying pouch case thingy. So um, it's foam, as you can tell right here. And if we actually open this thing, they do provide, this is how you actually get it in the box. You get this, you get a free receiver, you get a screen protector, and you get a USB-C cable, and you also get some extra springs and some extra screws in case you screw up or lose some of the things for the gimbals here, So, which is really nice that, that they've actually done that. I've never seen that before, to be honest. Uh, so that's something I really like. And the overall fitment inside is absolutely gorgeous because you, you definitely know that your receiver is going to be protected no matter what the hell happens. And that's something really, really nice. I don't know. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So we just drop it in. There we go. And you don't even need gimbal protectors. So we could just put that in there. And it's not going anywhere and it's not going to get hit and it's not going to break. Which is, I mean, if you're paying 185 bucks, you kind of really want to protect it and kind of take care of it and try to have it last as long as possible. Um, this by far is is a really great value uh, receiver and it just has everything you might need. They did not skip on anything that is needed from a receiver. And um, it's just, it's really nice to look at. And it's, it has a really nice feel and doesn't feel cheap. And uh, it feels like it has some pretty good build quality and i think we're going to be expecting a lot more of this or it's going to be really hard to beat this now i mean I, I don't know what other features you might want but yeah this is an absolute beast of a radio and i definitely recommend because i've been using it for the past two weeks and um it's just been flawless and the range seems to be very well for, for what I usually do. So in that perspective, I definitely recommend it, guys. Check the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And if you're interested in picking one up, go ahead and do it. You have nothing to lose. Hurry up before the chip shortage actually takes over and everything goes up in price. And well, that's it, guys. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.